welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Courtney B and I like to welcome you here. And if you are an oldie but a goodie subscriber, hey girl, welcome back. I hope everybody is staying safe during this whole virus slash self-quarantine thing we're going through right now. I know YouTube is being real weird about the C word. So I don't want to get my video taken down, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Hope everybody is staying safe, that you got all the supplies that you need because it's getting crazy out here. So I hope y'all are all staying safe, got stuff to do while you're inside. Remember, self-quarantine. Don't be going out doing like you usually do because it's not safe. Do not do it. Do not do it, y'all. Do not do it. Stay inside, play board games, watch, binge watch Netflix, eat all the snacks you want and just stay safe okay do that but that's not why we're here we're here for my da, 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 monthly favorite slash products i've been loving i don't know what i'm gonna title this but y'all would already know because i'm gonna have it titled down below but i have a little bag full of products i've been loving since probably the beginning of february and most of this month when i have been doing my makeup so it's a mixture of skincare, I got some makeup, and then I also have um, TV shows, Netflix TV shows I want to talk to y'all about. So if you like to see some of the products that I've been loving, just keep on watching. Oh yeah, and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. I don't know if it's on this side or it's on this side, but make sure you click that subscribe button because I mean, it's a fun time over here and we might as well self-quarantine together because we're friends, we're family, so we should be able to self-quarantine together. So. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already, okay? And before we get started, do y'all like this makeup look? I'm not the best at eyeshadow, but I think I did a damn good job this time. Like, I think I look cute and I can't even go nowhere to show my makeup off. Like, if y'all want to see a tutorial on this look, just let me know down below and I will get that up for you. But I'm feeling hella cute with this makeup, y'all. Like... Ignore the breakouts that are buying real estate on my face. Just ignore that. But this makeup is hella cute. But let's go ahead and get into this video. So I guess we'll start with skincare first because that's the least amount of stuff that I have in this bag is about skincare. Okay, so the first uh, skincare favorite that I've been loving is the Formula 10.0.6 So Totally Clean Deep Pore Cleanser. And this is an acne treatment. I don't know if, oh, there we go. And this is so good for acne. Like I use this toner during the day, like like in the morning and then at night because this is so good. And this is like $6.99 at Ulta and they usually do like buy one, get one 50% off. So you get two of these for $10.50 just about. And I'll run through this like water. I think this is like my fifth bottle of this because I use it so much. And I'm pretty sure I use too much of it when I put it on a cotton round because I do too much, but I love this. I highly recommend this if you have oily slash acne prone skin like this right here. This is amazing. I, I really highly recommend this. So if you're looking for a toner, try this sis and you will not be uh, disappointed. Next for skincare, I have the Mario Badescu Skincare Acne Facial Cleanser. And this is what the packaging looks like. And this right here is probably the best acne um, cleanser that I have ever tried besides the Tata Harper and that cleanser is 70 bucks and I'm not going to support them but pay 70 bucks for a cleanser so this right here I think I'm pretty sure it's $16 at Ulta and it's it's really really good and it helps with my acne because I have really bad acne as y'all probably already know by watching my videos but I have been enjoying this cleanser for the past couple of months and I will continue to buy this from Ulta. Continue with Mario Badescu I have the Mario Badescu drying mask focus and I do like to use this as a I only use this well I only use this as a spot treatment and I leave it on overnight I apply it after I've done my skincare and I apply it on at night and I'll sleep in it which I wouldn't recommend sleeping in it but I do anyway but the only bad thing about sleeping in this is that it flakes and I be having flakes all in my bed but it does minimize the size of your breakouts which is really good so I really have been enjoying this mask and the mask is just like this brown color looks like mud basically it's basically a mud mask but it works really good for acne skin so I do recommend this face mask as well okay let's I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the TV shows before I forget. 
at the end of this video because if I don't throw the TV shows in now, I will forget. So I have three Netflix recommendations for you guys. The first one, I'm totally late to all of these, by the way, these TV shows. I'm totally late to all of them. Some of y'all have probably already watched them. I'm late. I'm late to all the TV shows, honestly. So the three I would like to I binge watch the heck out of, and I'm pretty sure I finished all of these in the past three months, maybe, maybe even less. But I've watched Jane the Virgin. Like when it first came out, I was not interested in that whatsoever. But then I got bored because I finished one of my other TV shows. I was like, let me see what this is about. And oh my God, Jane the Virgin was amazing. And I honestly, I honestly didn't want it to stop. And then the second one, the second two uh, tie in together. It's the originals and Vampire Diaries. Like I loved, well, I love both of those TV shows. Like I was obsessed with vampires and werewolves when I was in like middle school because of the Twilight series. And this is my Twilight Fantasy for adults. Because the Twilight Fantasy was for teens. This is for adults. And it's bomb. And then they just recently, I think they just recently had a TV show about witches. It's, it's connected to the originals. I can't remember what it's called. I will pop up a picture of it right here if I can find it. And I remember to put it in the video. But I'm going to binge watch that one next after I finish the originals. But those are the three. If y'all have not watched those watch them while you're on self quarantine because you will not be bored trust me you will not be bored oh yeah if y'all have any netflix recommendations drop them down below because i'm looking for some because i'm gonna have a lot of time on my hand like when i am off because my job i'm a cna and i mean they can't stop me from going to work because i have i work in the healthcare field so that's i have to go to work so when i'm here self quarantining i need something to watch so drop the recommendations down below anyway moving on to the makeup portion of this so the first thing I'm pulling out is the Ardell Professional Faux Mink Lashes. I, these are in the style 817. They're not currently in this box. This came in a pack of five. These are my everyday lashes. I'm not wearing them today though. Don't think that these are it right here, but I wear these every day. I have them somewhere over there in a little container because I lose my lashes like crazy. But these are great for everyday lashes and these are the Ardell 817s. Check those out because those are bomb. Like, they look so natural and they just look nice for every day. Oh, I miss one of the skincare things. Oh my gosh. Okay, so last thing for skincare, I'm sorry, is the, I think you call it Ambi. A M B I. I guess that's Ambi. Skincare. This is the fade cream and this is for like dark spots. Like, I suffer, I suffer really bad from dark spots, from acne scars and stuff because I pop my pimples, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I do it anyway because I'm hard headed. But, I pop my pimples and I just I put this on the scars and it has lightened my dark spots put this I use this as a moisturizer sometimes in the morning or at night and it just lightens up my dark spots it doesn't do like like a lot dramatic but you can notice the difference in your dark spots when you do use this so I have been enjoying this the setting spray that I have been enjoying is the Milani, Milani make it last matte finish setting spray and this is so good because I have oily skin and this keeps my makeup matte for hours, like hours. It says 16 hour wear. I haven't worn my makeup for 16 hours, but this keeps my oils at bay and I have been loving it. Next is my favorite foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. And I have mine in 360, Copen 360 Mocha, I'm sorry. I have mine in 360 Mocha. And I love this. This is full coverage and it lasts all day. Like, keeps my oils at bay because I'm oily, but it keeps my oils at bay and it just looks good all the time. Like, I use this every day when I do my makeup, just about. I'm trying to rotate my other foundations, but this one gets the most love. And I'm almost out. This is almost empty. I shook it up so it really doesn't look like I used all of it, but I'm pretty sure I'm like down to right here with this foundation next i have two concealers the first one i have is the la girl pro concealer and i have mine in beautiful bronze and i use this one right here to carve out my eyebrows because it's the most it's like the only shade i can find that's close to my uh, skin tone i either carve out my brows and i sometimes spot conceal with this before i put my foundation on but this is a really good concealer right here and it's like 199 or 299 and also so 
It's a great concealer and it's really cheap. Second concealer I've been loving is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Wear Camo Concealer and I have mine in the shade Deep Chest. I use this to highlight my face and it's a really good full coverage concealer. The only thing about this is it dries really quick so you need to apply this and blend it out because if not it's gonna be stuck and then you're gonna be looking crazy. Next, I have two eyebrow pro products. Um, I have the Precise Benefit Precisely My Brow and y'all already, y'all are probably gonna say, Courtney, you always use that for your eyebrows. True, but I used to use five, but this one right here is 4.5 and it's what I used on my eyebrows today because I don't like, I mean, five is okay. I just feel like it's too dark because I'm really heavy handed when it comes to putting on my, like, filling in my brows so I use 4.5 and I feel like it's not as dark as 5 and my brows have been coming out really good so I have been enjoying that next for eyebrows I have the essence make me brow and I have mine in I think brownie brows yeah brownie brows it's just like this uh, dark brown eyebrow gel it has a little wand and this I got it from Ulta 2 shopper but I think it was $2.99 and this is a great eyebrow gel like I don't have long eyebrow hairs but if I want to like fill them in a little bit more in the sparse areas I could use this and it's like a tinted brow gel so it does look really nice on your brows or if I'm going to work and I don't feel like drawing like filling my brows I just run this through my brows and it gives me the illusion that I have full brows even though my brows are hella thin so I have been enjoying that too I have a bronzer this is the Fenty Beauty uh, bronzer and I have mine in Mocha Mommy I didn't like this at first because I thought it was too red for me but lately I have been gravitating towards it I don't know why mine is hella dirty because it gets a lot of love but I have been using the heck out of this bronzer this is probably my second favorite bronzer I don't have many bronzers but this right here has been like the bronzer I've been reaching for the most this past couple months. And I love anything Rihanna. Like Rihanna can do no wrong in my opinion because I love Fenty products. Next I have a blush. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow. And I have mine in the shade Citrine Rose. It's just cute. Coral peachy color and I have it on my cheeks today I used this in the previous tutorial that y'all seen but I love this blush it's just it's so soft and so glowy and like it's so pretty like the only thing about this do not do not go overboard with this blush a little goes a long way because this can go real left real fast with this because it's so pigmented and like you'll be out here looking crazy if you go ham with this blush so please be careful with this blush then i have uh a mascara this is the essence lash princess mascara and everybody on youtube raves about this mascara and i didn't want to believe the hype at first but i fell into the hype and i bought it and i can say like this is the only mascara that i've been using because i have short eyelashes like non-existent eyelashes and this works great for my bottom lashes i mean i like it for my top lashes but i usually use this for my bottom lashes because it's just it's just great and it gives me a little bit of bottom lashes because i have none and the last couple of favorites i have are lip products i guess we'll start with the lip pencil this is the nyx professional lip pencil a uh, matte suede lip pencil in the shade i'm pretty sure this is cold brew yeah this is cold brew and it's just like a brown color i'll swatch it here on my hand this is it on my hand it's just like this chocolatey brown color and i grab this whenever i want to wear a nude lipstick or lip gloss or whatever i'm wearing i will line my lips with this and this is just like the perfect brown liner for chocolate girls like Anybody in general, but mainly chocolate girls, you need this liner because this is a great brown liner for when you want to wear nude sis. So pick that up. Next is a NYX lip gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. And like, for one, the NYX Butter Glosses are bomb. They're bomb, period. Best but The best glosses, period, around. Like they have the best, NYX has the best lip gloss formula, period. Especially for the butter glosses. And this is in the shade Madeline. And at first, people used to talk about this shade. And I'm like, oh, it's too light. It's too light. It's too light. But then, it's this right here. I paired this with this brown liner. And when I tell you, that looks, that's the best new combo that I've ever had look good on my lips. 
this is my favorite nude lip gloss like i will slap this on with that cold brew liner and you cannot tell me nothing with this lip gloss like this right here it's fire and plus nyx is running a buy two get one free sale go ahead and stock up on lip glosses and lip liners because i know i am period and then the next lip gloss i have is the ColourPop so juicy plumping lip gloss and i got the shade is it viceroy or viceroy i don't know but this is the lip gloss right here and i got this in a set when uh color pop and ulta had that collab that they did it was limited edition it's not for sale anymore but i got this lip gloss then and i love it it's a plumping lip gloss as i was saying and it's like this brownie pinky nude this is a nice nude color for chocolate girls but I love brownie pinky nudes like brownie pinky nudes are my favorite thing ever and last but not least I have a morphe lip gloss this is the morphe lip gloss in the shade Freebird. I got this recommendation from Jasmine Ardell I think that's how you say her name here on YouTube I love her videos and she recommended this lip gloss she did a video of her top favorite nude lip glosses for brown skin I think that's what she titled it and it's, this lip gloss right here it's so pretty and you pair it with a brown liner it's right my swatching is horrible it's right there but this is a great nude this is a great brown girl nude right here because it's so pretty in the packaging for morphe it just looks so luxurious like this is bomb period bomb you need this you need all the if you are chocolate get all the lip glosses that i just recommended because you will not be sorry like you will love them i promise get them i don't know why my nose chooses to run when i wear makeup like my nose does not run any other time just when i wear makeup why why can i be great okay, so that is it for my monthly favorite slash products i've been loving if you have any re recommendations for me leave them down below i would love to hear some of y'all's recommendations if y'all like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell we are almost at 100 courtney crew members which i am so excited about i will be doing a giveaway when we hit uh, 100 courtney crew uh subscribers so be on the lookout for that video and I hope y'all did enjoy it and stay safe out here in these streets because nobody wants to be catching this virus right now. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.